So here is here is the centrus, here is the start, here you turn, here you hang this carbon monoxide to this one and then, then if you open it, you, the carbon monoxide enters into this next room. So and now we go into the room where the carbon monoxide enters. And that's right here. And you see it looks first, if you, are, if you are innocent, you believe that this is in fact hot water which may come out of this, but no, no, carbon monoxide is coming out of here. So who was killed in here? So these were mentally uh, ill people who supposedly had no chance to be healed, where all treatment was in vain, supposedly, yeah. And or in some cases children. Uh, and also, uh, also, ch also children, yeah, also children, yeah, including children. And later, also, after after forty two, when the when the action stopped, uh, people from concentration camps who were uh, very weak and sick, Jews, communists, social democrats. So, and then the the dead bodies were then uh, taken out of here, and one could get them out of here into a room where there is at the moment just one dissect dissection table. How were the dead bodies taken out? Yeah, one probably one, one, was, one was dragging them here on this, on this, on this, uh, on this, uh, on this floor. On these, on these. And in just, not every case, but some cases they did dissection. Yeah, in some cases they did the dissection, yes. Reason. yes. They did the dissection, yeah. So and then uh, and then finally they had to be burned after uh, the brain had to be taken out and sent to uh, Hallerforden in, in in Berlin, and presumably there were more dissection places here, which are not anymore here. And then and then they were burned, but this is uh, frankly I do not know where. They must have been out of the building. It must have be, been be, 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 be outside, presumably. Yeah. Yes. I do not know. Is that a furnace? That, I think, is a furnace. That is a furnace, yeah. That's, that's a picture of the furnace. But, and uh, as they said, they, uh, they burned about two, three persons at, at the same time. It must be hard work. Yes. Much, they claim much harder work than killing them, yeah. But they... Uh, they killed 14,000 people kill, here at Brandenburg. Yeah. yeah. So this Including was the, the, the people from the concentration camps. Benno, what was the, the rationale behind, uh, how did they start the murder here? Now, yeah, there were two, two different rationales. There were, there were first the rationale for, for, for children, very small children. And that was, um, that got started by that a uh, high party member had a child which was extremely damaged. And so the high party member wrote to the to an even higher party member what could be done and that he would be all for euthanasia. So this was decided that this should happen. That was one thing. And then when the war began, uh, I guess a totally different, uh, different enterprise was taken that um, Hospitals was uh, was uh, insane. Should be emptied, at least uh, to to get extra beds for the for the for the soldiers, and so about seventy thousand people were murdered between uh, the beginning of of uh, forty to the middle of forty one, and then uh, far sighted as they were, they stopped the thing because they used the personnel which was active before here in the, in the euthanasia thing now in order to build up the, 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 the destruction camps in Poland. For example, the man who was running this place here, a man named Abel, yeah, he became for two, two months in 42, uh, he became the chief of, uh, of, one of, these, uh, of one of these destruction camps. And because he supposedly had uh, organizing experience. And then uh, the minor people who, who were burning the, 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 the corpses and so on, they all went to Poland 
and and got then involved in 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 killing Jews and 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 and, and burning the bodies and so on and so on. So it was just the same personnel, yeah. Who 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 first killed the insane and then killed uh, killed Jews and Gypsies, yeah. Do you think they felt they were murdering people? Uh, yeah, it's most interesting that the two other chiefs here, medical doctors and psychiatrists who were running this place here, uh, kind of got away with it in 1962 by saying that they couldn't see anything wrong with killing. Uh, those incurable insane, and they had learned this in in in, in the medical uh, in the medical courses at the universities, and so they couldn't see anything wrong. So uh, in fact, they got free, and uh, so this went then up from court to court. And in '72, the German Supreme Court decided that indeed, uh, uh, since they didn't see anything wrong, there was nothing wrong with it, and they could be free. So, so, so this is about the medical people, but then, then the question is what does one think about the other people who got involved, who were working here? For example, the people who burned the, burned the corpses. And I think they are the, the uh, for a long time I didn't realize what was going on. And then Friedlander, Henry Friedlander, I think, found it. And that is, they were paid exceedingly well. Yeah. The people who did the dirty work here, uh, earned as much as normally a German, a German medical doctor was earning. So, so, so they became rich. And, and this, is, this is why they worked here. It was just money, money, money. Nothing, nothing but money. Yeah. But the orders that started this came virtually from Hitler's office. The, the, orders, the, the, the orders came from Hitler's office, but then this had obviously to be organized. And, the, 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 the genial idea of paying these guys so much was just uh, the committee which was organizing it. This was certainly not discussed with Hitler, such minor details, that they had such unbelievable high, high salaries. Yeah. For every uh, sick person in, 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 in such a hospital, uh, a one-page questionnaire had to be filled out. And, the one, and, the, and there were dangerous questions in there. There was, for example, did you, uh, did, does the person still is, is capable of working? And if this was no, that was it. Is there any chance that he will become better? How long is he already here? So then they made uh, what is called a cross below and that was it. And, and actually there were, two, uh, there were two groups. First a relative low group of psychiatrists, of just medical doctor psychiatrists who made the first decision and then the whole uh, these papers went through, through on a higher grade to, to university professors of psychiatry, actually ten of them, who then glanced through these things whether the decisions were right and they made the second course and that was it. And with the second course you had it, yeah. Those who weren't gassed, uh, most of them had rather somber fates also, didn't they? Now, yeah, also for example in, in, in Danzig, in the, in, the, in the insane asylum of Danzig, uh, they simply shot them. Uh, they, 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 they didn't have a gas cham chamber, so they decided why not shoot them, yeah. So, so they shot them. And then of course they had some extra, uh, extra things were going on, where you just simply uh, gave, uh, as a one, one thing which worked apparently pretty well was if you, if you give somebody who is in bed a, a sleeping pill every day so that he's under the sleeping pill for about a week then the chance is high that he will get, get a, an infection, lung infection and if you don't treat the lung infection the chance is again very high that he's going to die. So this was kind of the general strategy of getting rid of people in, so, in the hospitals. Yeah. So the hospitals were, were killing fields? The hospital, they are killing fields and at the end I think of the 300,000 or 350,000 uh, patients only 40,000 were left alive and all the others had died from, from this or that reason. When the war started uh, Germany had two problems, according to this way of looking at it. The problem of the mental patients and the problem of the Jews. Yeah. 
And in the end, they dealt with them in the same way. And they dealt with them exactly in the same, with the same technique, yeah.